can you tell us a bit about what happens in the brain when we exercise and how exercise might uh, slow the decline in, in brain strung structure and function, well, particularly just, in Parkinson's? Yes, so uh, Dr. Bloom referred to his very, very recent article in Annals of Neurology. And so there is clear, compelling evidence that you have increased brain connectivity. And the second thing that is important to know, one of the reasons why high intense exercise is pushed, here intensity is referring to heart rate, is that the idea is that the vascularization of the brain improves, as the blood vessels in the brain become healthier, as you can take more oxygen to different parts of the brain, that certainly improves brain function. There's evidence that when you generate large forces, your basal ganglia, that's the five nuclei deep in the brain, which are impaired in Parkinson's disease, get activated, and this is good for them. So the evidence that it is good for the brain in terms of connectivity, in terms of different parts of the brain being able to be activated more strongly, in terms of improving oxygen flow, is it's overwhelming and, and quite clear. And by the way, this goes across many diseases. So you can look at Alzheimer's disease and there are benefits to exercise. Um, you can look at aging and healthy aging. It's a kind of universal, it's kind of universally good at the level of the brain.